This morning, one man is very lucky to be alive. 32-year-old hydroplane racer Mark Workentine was in the middle of a practice run in San Diego Friday. When he lost control, the boat flipped over and over, then completely disintegrated. Take a look at this. Oh my. He was going about 180 miles per hour. Mark was inside a capsule, and that's what saved his life. Mark Workentine is here with us this morning to tell us all about it. Good morning. How you doing this morning? I'm all right. You look pretty good, <laughs> considering what you went through. Yeah, I'm doing real good. Yeah. Lucky, lucky man this morning. Take mm -hmm. me back to the very start of this. This is a brand new boat, right? No, actually, it's not a brand new boat. Oh, uh, new propellers, I'm new sorry. New propellers right. on it. Yeah, we're uh, out for a test run for the Lucas Oil HBA drag boat series there in San Diego. Right. Just front end of the boat was loose. You know, we had a bad setup on it. You could feel it right away. You knew something was wrong. Well, the thing left good, like better than server left before. Right. And when it took a sit, it did some hops. But yep. when you're driving one of these things, yeah. if you got on the throttle, every time it made a funny hop, you'd never win a race. Right. So you got to let it ride out a little bit and see what it does. And, and then... I let it go a little bit far this time. <laughs> see the I mean, shoot come out there at the end, and I didn't catch it in time. Wow. <laughs> and you literally, this is seconds into this test run. Yeah, these things go zero to 200 miles an hour in under three seconds, well under three seconds. Wow. So... That's mm. pretty darn fast. You gotta react quick. So in mm. a nanosecond, you know you are in big time trouble. I wanna show this again in slow-mo and help me understand what's going through your mind. How is your heart racing as you begin to realize this mm. thing is out of control? Right here when it leaves, you know it was good. And it's, everything's happening so fast. The thing starts walking around like that. I couldn't quite tell the trouble, you know, by this point right here, I way knew I was in trouble then, but you know, it's, it's so hard to describe. It happens so fast. You have to feel it. You can't yeah. even really see it. You have to just feel it by the seat of your pants, you know? Wow. 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 So you're inside a sort of a pod then, right? Yeah. You're inside a safety capsule that breaks away in the event of a wreck. You seen it right there at the end. It was flying in there and that's what I was sitting in. Right. And they're pulling it out of the water right there. Is your instinct to bust out of there? I mean, it's almost yeah, like an astronaut. That's exactly what I did. As soon as I stopped and I was floating, I realized my legs and arms were working and yeah. You know, I was just like, wow, and I popped the lid open. You're not supposed to do that, but IHBA Rescue guys had a little talk with me about that. But they, they got <laughs> because you it. open the top and <laughs> yeah. it fills with water, oh, yeah. and then you actually do die, which well, is probably no, not got, the way you yeah. want to go. <laughs> I hear you. Right, right, right. Now, you, were you had been retired? Do I understand that right? Yeah, I did. I was, I was retired after 03. I won the world championship in the top fuel hydro. Yeah. And then... Uh, Got out of sport for a while, and I got a call from Jay Hartini and out of Fresno yeah. this and, year. And, and does this give you a pause? Does this give you a little thought about maybe you should find some other line of work? I, I wish I could get back on in right now. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow I do it again. All right. Mark Wigantine, thanks very much for being with us this Thank morning. Thank you. Really appreciate the story.